Steve Rotherham there. Now, if you think about some of the great musicals, they've been about all sorts of subjects, haven't they? Love Affairs, The French Revolution, Les Mis, of course, and even Household Pets. But never before has a musical been inspired by bus deregulation. Until now. Stuart Flinders has been to see the dress rehearsal. It's got the music of Starlight Express and the roller skates too. The costumes are a little less elaborate. In fact, the show's creator made them herself. Each cape represents the colours of a local bus company in the days before Selnick in the 1970s. Selnick was a coordinated and integrated transport network for the whole of the region. Some people might think this doesn't sound like a good night out. It's going to be very fun, it's going to be very family friendly. I mean, what's not to like? We've got a disco ball, we've got disco lights, we've got music, and you get to learn about the history of public transport policy in Greater Manchester. It's a campaigning piece, arguing that our buses should be restored to public ownership. Should the gallery be using public money to fund what is essentially a piece of political propaganda? I don't think it's necessarily propaganda. I think this piece of art is actually about largely education, to be honest, because the piece is actually taking you through Manchester's history. The show opens and closes at the Manchester Art Gallery tomorrow. Stuart Flinders, BBC Northwest Today. There you go, one night only. However, if it's a rip-roaring success, I'm sure that uh, it could be coming to a theatre near you sometime soon.